Alright guys, yeah, I'm back with another video, and as you can see, I've got a haircut now. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm back guys with 50 reasons why Dixie Carter sucks. And uh, number one, Dixie Carter has no knowledge of professional wrestling. Uh, when her dad bought the wrestle her uh, TNA in 2003, I think it was, she had no fucking clue, and she still does, she has no clue of TNA now. She has no clue of professional wrestling now. Fucking... 11 years later, so... Number 12, number 2, uh, she, uh, she doesn't do good business, um, number 2, she doesn't do good business in wrestling, she signs terrible, uh, she signs guys like Scott Steiner, and guys like Bobby Lashley, is that a good business in wrestling? No. Number 3, terrible storylines, um, she's done a few terrible storylines, like Aces and Eights, uh, Claire Lynch, uh, number four, bad mic skills. Number five, bad actors slash. B uh, number six, bad babyface. Number seven, um, terrible power struggle storylines with MVP and um, Eric uh, Bischoff and Hulk Hogan. Number eight, Claire Lynch. Number nine, um, uh, what's what number nine? Uh, uh, number nine, she had Jeff Jarrett as, as the world's heavyweight champion for many years. Number ten, she. Uh, uh, Number ten, she what was that? I can't remember what I thought. That was number ten. Uh, she she doesn't. I don't know what, what number ten was. Uh, she has no redeeming qualities of professional wrestling. She doesn't know any knowledge of professional wrestling or whatever. Number eleven, she doesn't promote her uh, her shows or pay per views. Um, and we all know that Dixie Carter doesn't promote her shows or her pay per views because look at the fucking past. She's had fucking shows like um like uh, house shows and I forget like the slate that. The slit that he said this on his uh, one of his videos said, "Oh, I was gonna go to a TNA show, but they didn't promote the damn show." And this is my problem with the TNA: they don't promote their TV show or their pay-per-views or their house shows. So that's uh, that's uh, number eleven. Why did you call this? Number twelve: they're on a terrible network like Spike TV. They are uh, they have TNA has uh, they have uh, quite a bit of money. They have more money than Ring of Honor, and they are uh, with Spike TV. They could get a deal with any. Uh, they could get a network with fucking sci-fi now that it's Smackdown it's Smackdown left sci-fi and just stayed on the WWE network they could have gone for sci-fi at least people do watch sci-fi there's stuff on sci-fi for people what is on the Spike TV channel I, I don't even watch Spike TV only reason I used to watch Spike TV is for TNA and I don't watch that anymore but what is the point of having Spike why is Spike TV a network because it's, there's nothing really on this from MMA who cares about that? Like, you know, and maybe you guys do, but I really don't care about MMA. So, you know, um, at number thirteen, um, she uh, she signs old or oh, she signs old husbands from other wrestling companies like Bobby Lashley, uh, Scott Steiner, Kurt Angle, your Stings, your RVDs, your Jeff Hardy, your Matt Hardy, etc., your Tommy Dreamers. Uh, number fifteen, um, Immortal and EV two storylines. They was terrible. Immortal, that Immortal stable was fucking awful. The EV two storyline of your ECW husbands was awful. I hate I hated EV two. I hated Immortal as well. Number sixteen, um, signing King Mo. He did fuck all. He's been there two years and still don't fuck all. Number seventeen, Van Page Jackson. You had him join the um, main event mafia last year. After that, he has one match, does a couple of hip tosses, has no idea about professional wrestling. And uh, after that, we don't ha have no sign of him, and we haven't seen him since last summer. What a waste of fucking money. You could have signed, like, Chris Hero or somebody. At least he can fucking wrestle, and that's passionate about his business. Unlike fucking Rampage Jackson and um, King Mo. You, you, oh, this card, it's, it's great that you're signing those guys to get some recognition on your part, but what do they do? They don't care about fucking professional wrestling. You should sign guys like you actually care about professional wrestling. Guys like you, Kevin Steens, you Chris Heroes of this world, before WWE snatches them and you make some bigger stars. So, that's to you, Dixie Carter. Uh, anyway, uh, number um, number 18, uh, the Bowie Ray feud, that was terrible. The, that Bowie Ray feud recently was god terrible. I'd never like that. Number 19, she buries um, she buries the TNA rituals like your Christopher Daniels, your Chris Arians. Your Jane Storms, your AJ Styles. Um, number twenty, she get, uh, she got rid of this exciting ring. Number twenty one, uh, TNA uh, uh, doesn't have an identity. Uh, they always call, uh, number uh, yeah, TNA has no identity. 
Uh, number 22, uh, no original gimmicks. Uh, number 20, uh, yeah, I can say number 23, no, uh, no original storylines, just re recycled garbage. Uh, number 24, uh, not making more, uh, not making more main eventers in our company, I mean, uh, you know, just keep on the tie on guys like, you know, Kurt Angle and Jeff Jarrett all the time and Kevin Nash. Number 25, um, she puts the old guys in the main event spots. Number 26, she has, uh, she has Sting and Hogan feuding in 2011, which was awful. Number 27, a victory roll 2011 between Sting and Jeff Hardy for the World Heavyweight Championship was a god awful main event, and that should have never happened in TNA history, brother. And number 28, Hulk Hogan had, was in too many segments in TNA. Number 20, 29, uh, Mike today on commentary is goddamn awful. Number 30, Taz is awful as well. Get them off commentary. Number 31, uh, hiring v Vince Russo was awful. Number 32, signing Garrett Bischoff was the worst thing you ever did. Number 33, moving to Monday nights, bad decision. You wasn't ready. Number 34, um, low attendances, low attendances in house shows. I mean, look at those pictures on Facebook I've seen. Look at the pictures I see online. You, we've all seen them. D teenagers fail to promote, and I've said this. Um, I've said this in the reason. So reason number thirty-four. Num reason number thirty-five. She buried every single X Division wrestler. She doesn't promote them. She doesn't put them in a good spot on the on the pay-per-views or an episode of Impact. So, you know what? I'm tired of you know the X Division. Uh, number thirty-six. The main event mafia never worked out. Number 37, uh, uh, TNA traveled to non-wrestling towns like you're in Miami's, um, what was that one else in the non-wrestling town? Uh, Corpus Christi, uh, I think that's in Texas, but that's not a good part of Texas, so it's like, you know, not many people go there to wrestle, like, you know. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, uh, what was that? Uh, number 38, uh, AJ Styles leaving, uh, she, you know, uh, obviously uh, TNA didn't have enough money to get, uh, to bring AJ back, and they got rid of, uh, got rid of AJ, bad decision there. Uh, number 39, uh, the, uh, the lack of, oh, the lack of tag teams, guys like Bad Info, Dave Gard and stuff like that, so that's uh, another reason why she sells. Number 40, uh, number 40, ECW Legends trying to save your um, New York City tapings. Number 41, burying Austin Aries a couple of times this year. Austin Aries has barely been on television and barely been put in the main event spot where he really deserves. I'm a big fan of Austin Aries. I think that guy should be really pushed to the fucking moon. But they keep pushing guys, like, they keep burying guys like Austin Aries and your James Storms and your fucking guy like that. And you know they bury ca uh, teenage originals all the time. I'm tired of do them doing that. Uh, number 42, uh, she buries Samoa Joe, and she's continuing to bury him right now, but I think he's getting pretty, yeah, he's getting pushed right now, though. Number 43, though, doesn't care about professional wrestling. Number 44, number 44, um, having Vince Russo part of creative, bad decision right there, because if Vince Russo is part of creative, it could be bad or it could be good, because Vince Russo is known for having women in cages, something hanging on a, something hanging on a pole, like a briefcase or something, or a random st hell, uh, a, a random hell in a cell match. So there you go. Um, uh, number f uh, forty-five. Uh, ne uh, she never listens to the wrestling fans. Uh, you know, she never listens to them. You know, never you know listens to all the wrestling fans. Number forty-six. Um, always copying WWE. Number forty-seven. No original storylines. Number forty-eight. Uh, being on Thursday nights. Number 49, a sinking ship. Um, 49, a TNA being on a sinking ship. Uh, number 50, uh, do, uh, TNA will we, TNA will never be, uh, TNA will never compete with the WWE. And that is 50 reasons why Dixie Carter sucks in professional wrestling, brother. And if you're not down with it, okay. And that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys like this video. And... If you got any, and if, uh, tell me your 50 reasons why Dixie Carter sucks in the comment section below. And if you guys want me to do another video like this, like I did with the Randy Orton and the Dixie Carter video, tell me in the comments down below, guys, and I will, um, do another video like this. Right now.